Hey guys, well it's about 5.45 in the morning. Just getting the rest of the gear packed up. Truck's already loaded and we are heading for Ray's place. It's Saturday, it's November 13th. We were supposed to um, go up there yesterday but I can't get the razor done in time. It needed a bit of work. So um, unfortunately that's the Friday ride. Um, ATV's up there. A few of my other buddies are up there. It should be a good time. It's also my birthday, birthday ride. So I uh, can't think of a better way to spend the day than with my girlfriend riding. So it should be a good time. Stay tuned. We'll keep you in the loop. This should be one of those longer adventure videos of the day. So we're just getting ready to go and we'll take you along the trip with us. So hopefully you can feel like you're there riding along. All right, we are loaded up and we are ready to hit the road. Trying out the new GoPro 10 today. This is the first time we're taking it out. We got the new Bullite wheels on there and the XTR 370s mounted on there. Razor's tip top. Also got some Super ATV mud flaps on there. And look at that. Finally got ourselves a CVT snorkel. Guys, coming out the back here. Yep, sweet. Battle wagon's ready to rock. All right, just stopped for some breakfast, coffee and eats. Got ourselves some Tim Hortons and some Starbucks. Razor, loaded up, ready to rock. About two hours away from our destination at Ray's place. Check out those bull light wheels. Nice speed locks, 15s, XTR 370s. New heavy duty sway bar end links from Super ATV and those super ATV mud flaps. I don't know how long those mud flaps are gonna last in the rocks, but we'll see. They might hold up pretty well, actually. Time will tell. It's gonna be the first real ride with the uh, full windshield front and rear. So it should be a good time. Anyways, let's hit the road, quit wasting time here, and uh, let's go have some fun. We made it. We are getting to Ray's place. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at all those dirty machines. Yeah, look at all the side-by-sides. ATVs here. There's this trailer. Look at those machines. Sweet, stoked, can't wait. It stopped raining. Good. It's brisk out this morning. Looks like there's a lot of people. Lots of people like usual. Bunch of Jeeps. Sweet. We've got some buggies out there. We'll go see if we can find Wildcat Tim and uh, Jason. They should be up here. They said they're across from the washrooms. Nice fall weather. The leaves are gone pretty much here. Oh, there's the Hummer. Oh, there's Jason and Timmy. They're still in their Hummer limo sleeping. Oh, Jason's got a flat tire. Yay! Yo, Happy I didn't know birthday. you. Nice limo. Thanks, man. Happy birthday! Woo! Jason had a uh, boost. Yeah. He's got a flat tire. I noticed. He I'd say that's go, a win. He had to go to town to go pay for the tow truck that came to unlock his truck that he locked his keys in last night. So he had to sleep on the floor up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I missed all the good stuff. And then we went out for a seven minute ride and ended up with a blown um, gearbox. In what? Uh, portal, one of the mountains. Well here, hold on. We'll talk about it in a oh, second. Yeah. Does this thing run? Is the key in it? I don't think so, but you can slide right in here if you want. But then I can't unload very well. So I'll unload. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like our own private park. Yep. Yeah. Nice new camera. Thanks, man. So, we are at Ray's setting up camp. And uh, time to rock the fin trail. It's chilly out, so it's definitely going to be a fin trail kind of ride. And um, it's a pretty wet out, too. So, we're going to get geared up in the fin trail. We got some nice new other fin trail balaclavas here. And um, I got some nice extreme merino socks I'm going to slap on to keep me nice and toasty. We got Ksenia rocking her fin trail. Lots look at of that. Too soft fin trail could look so good. Oh, fin trail on fin trail. And more fin trail. Yeah. 
three layers, <laughs> four layers of fin trail. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, I've got a matching set, but today I'm gonna wear the black and um, we'll get geared up. Jason uh, had a little flat last night, fixing her up. And he locked the keys in his truck last night, so I had to call a tow truck to get it unlocked. And then he lost his cell phone. So he's just like failing right now. Uh, we got Job and all the boys from ATV up there. I brought them some parts for one of their razors because they messed that up last night. Uh, so we got a bunch of Can-Am Mavericks with us today. So it's gonna be a wicked time. We're gonna cruise with the crew from ATV. Uh, check out their channel for sure. Uh, Job that runs that channel, he's got a lot of wicked videos. They're usually mud guys, but they dabble. They dabble in the, the, the uh, you know, the technical stuff. So it should be fun watching them. Some of their machines have like Moto Havocs and mud tires and rocks and uh, it's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna take them to Greens Mountain. So it should be a good time. Anyways, we're gonna get set up here and then we're gonna get to the riding. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, subscriptions really help us. I get tons of repeat viewers. Uh, I can see there's a lot of you guys watching a lot of the videos over and over again, but you're not subscribed. Please smash that subscribe button and enable notifications. It really helps the videos rank on YouTube. Wow, these socks, I was about to put them on, but they're so thick. And they're fuzzy inside. They're merino wool from Fintrail. They're actually really cheap on their website too. Check them out. Uh, when you're out in the cold in the fin trail and you're getting wet, keeping your feet warm is key. Uh, they're gonna stay dry, but when it's frigid out, I mean, the boots are not really that insulated. You get some insulation from the neoprene sock, but having a nice pair of warm socks underneath really helps. Uh, something I do in the winter time too is it's not that cold yet, but when stuff gets below zero freezing, I slap some toe warmers in my boots and it keeps me nice and toasty. Actually, I'll be sometimes I'll be standing somewhere on the trail. You can see my boots like steaming. Oh yeah, we're out here with ATV. We got his Can Am. We've been meaning to ride together for ages. We got a good lineup. We got the battle wagon. We got Jason's ball tired X3. And then we got a bunch of Can Ams. Can Am today, buddy. Just yeah. gonna send it. A bunch of guys running Warriors. I've been wanting to try the Super ATV Warrior tires. They come in like a sticky compound and like a, these are the stickies. Yeah, you can feel they're like bubble gum. Awesome. Yeah. Around this terrain, they're amazing on the rock. Much better than these things. Moto Havocs. On portals. Uh, poor loser for the mud. There. Yeah. He was for one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Single idler, dual idler, whatever you do, they just, they don't work well in this terrain, in my opinion. Wow, look at those gears. Yeah. Well, it's not a matter oh, look at the bearings snap, too. Did it? Holy. Yeah. Gears sheared off. They just don't like it. Nope. It's too much leverage on a tire like that. There. Yeah, that's oh. too hard. Lots of teeth in this. There's the problem. Toothless redneck. Quit talking about Jason like that, man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> My teeth are in the truck, bud. <laughs> 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 you don't want to wreck them, you know, three grand down the hall. <laughs> so this thing's out for the count. I know. No, you getting her fixed? Is this your machine? Is this yours? There's parts on the way. No. No? It's Jerry's. It looks like a beast. Those tires don't look like they like the rocks, though. No, that's what happened last night. Do they? they that's the thing. It's it's really like on and off grip, right? Yeah. Listen, man. Punch the gears going that portal. She'll spin. What? Punch those gears going that portal. She'll spin. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Never mind. Whoa. Yeah, the whole arm. Yeah, but it's gone for a snap this way. So like Tim was mentioning, uh, here he shot this video before we got there, and this is the first obstacle just outside of camp on the Gabrielle ledge, and this thing chewed a portal right away. Right? Yeah. Looks beastly though. It's going to be nice to get a good change of machines out on the trail. So guys, it should be a good time. Make sure you uh, stay tuned. We got a lot of action coming your way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out ATV's channel. And uh, if you watch ATV and you don't subscribe to my channel, then subscribe to mine too. Uh, Job and I have known each other for quite a while. We've been wanting to make this ride happen for ages. We're filming today on the new GoPro 10, so it's going to be the inaugural GoPro 10 test. Say hi. We are both rocking our fin trail. Ksenia is the only woman here. Yeah. Like usual, she's a different breed. Yeah. I had to import her. But hey, you know, you do what you got to do. Yeah. 
so but I feel a little outnumbered in all these Can-Ams here. Look how clean my machine is. See, I, I wanted to get here last night, but things didn't work out. What's going on, man? You could look just like me, man. I will in about three to four minutes, minutes probably. It doesn't take yeah. long. It's pretty greasy in there. Everyone say hi to Joe, ATV. Yeah, I'm boys, cheers. We've been meaning to make this video happen for ages. Too long. Too long, well, yeah. We actually have been talking for about three, three years. At least. At least. I think we first met up at Dungan and Mud Fog at least three or four years. Oh, so that probably four years. Yeah, yeah, I saw you at the Toronto International Motorsport Show, which hasn't been I going probably, on. We probably crossed paths about probably five did. years ago then, yeah. and then we yeah. were like, hey, we should make a video. We should definitely get together yeah. sometime. And yeah. This never works out. <laughs> You're not a procrastinator. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Time. Yeah, yeah it's, it. it's a good time. You got a side by yeah. side. This is a great spot to, uh, yeah. to get out and experience it with it for sure, bud. Yeah, Ray's Place, Minden, Ontario, guys. If you haven't been here yet, make sure you check them out online. It's Definitely an awesome place to play. Awesome Definitely. place. So um, we'll get some some parts back on machines, and then we'll be hitting the trails. Uh, yeah. We're going to do Green Mountain. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, absolutely. We'll uh, all we have do a good have a time. couple more cars coming. Cool. This should be here in about an hour, so I figured if we just pissed around here until we get the whole group together, and then we'll just... That's a good idea. We'll rip around and we'll... Have you hit Silver yet? Uh, I honestly, I don't know what I've hit. What I have in Julian, so, and just kind of... We followed the boys in the Arctic Cat there for a little while, and then... Uh, if we got an hour or so to kill, then it, it'd be cool. We could hit Silver. I suppose it's pretty washed out right now. Yeah. So it'll be fun. And then uh, you guys tried Gabrielle, that's that ledge. Yeah. We could rip through that because essentially once you go up that ledge, it's, it's a pretty quick trail. Oh, that's a great little bit. Yeah, so yeah, we'll go play around somewhere and uh, stay tuned, boys. It should be a good time. Oh, yeah, she's gonna be a blast. Yeah. Right up. So uh, Tyler and Colin just surprised us. They said they couldn't come this weekend, but they just showed up with an enclosed in their machines. So they're here, so that should be good. We got a bunch of Can-Ams here. This is uh, the old ATV Maverick. Another Maverick. This one's on Super ATV Warriors, the sticky compound. These are an awesome tire. I've been wanting to try these for ages. I think these will do awesome out here. They're like bubble gum. For this terrain, they're amazing. We got another Maverick also on Warriors. We got a Razor 4 on Street Slicks. Another set of Warriors. Looks like we're outnumbered there. A lot of Mavericks. Look at this thing on Moto Havocs. Ooh, and it's missing a wheel. Portals, grenade it. Looks like he's missing some teeth there. Crack bearing. Portals are for mud. I rest my case. So much leverage on a portal gear and like the on and off grip of a tire like this in the rock that makes it makes it really kind of unpredictable and hard to uh, wheel in conditions like this. It's a lot of stress on those portal gears and a lot of leverage out of a tire this big and heavy. I just, I've never really seen it work very good. These are, what, these are like 35s or something? Yeah, 35 by 10s. A lot of big tires. My 32s are small. We got the new Super ATV mud uh, flaps on there. We got the heavy duty sway bar end links in there. We got a new CVT exhaust snorkel in the Razor now. Finally, guys, all you guys have been telling me to do this. We finally got it on there. It's uh, the 90 degree elbow from Dig Rig Power Sports. It was not easy to get on. You have to use their silicone charge pipe and getting it on there and getting it to seal up required a lot of RTV silicone and jimmy rigging and it was a pain in the ass, but I think it really worked out well. It should, it should work good. Um, we got the CVT snorkel exhaust right there. As usual, we got our Adrenaline Off-Road Outfitters LED whips. Razorback off-road rack there. And this is the first real ride with the full rear and front windshield, the glass windshield from Super ATV. So uh, we'll see how we feel with that. We, it's chilly out here, you know, it's fall. We're, uh, we're in Ontario, so it's getting a little chilly, but it's gonna be a really nice day. We're calling for some showers, but hopefully, judging by the sky, things might hold out. Because <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, Stop feel, feeling sorry for me. Yeah, don't feel sorry for her filming. I enjoy doing what I do. I enjoy filming. And I love that you guys enjoy what I film. So it's kind of it's kind of a never ending loop. You enjoy what I film and I enjoy what I filming for you. <laughs> yeah, so and she enjoys the, the, the redneck workout too, right? Yeah, a lot Even, of running around. 
keeping myself fit for him. <laughs> shout your channel out. Well, uh, hey guys, I'm Ian from uh, Rock Bottom Off Road. Go give us a shout and uh, check us out, man. We get off to some crazy stuff and some cool adventures and go all over the place. So join us and uh, yeah, we'll see you along. I'm only like 160 subs. I'm just tiny compared oh, to man. these guys. You're so. gonna blow up. We'll get you to like 175 in no time. That would be pretty <laughs> sweet. That would be <laughs> pretty sweet. You got us. You know what? You got to start somewhere. We all we were, we were all there. You know, you just got to grind. Right. Well, you were one of the first, so doing all this stuff. So thanks, man. Kind of gives us some inspiration. It's 50% uh, luck. That's right. Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, fellas. Happy birthday, Jason. Happy birthday, buddy. Hey, it's my birthday too. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Mine's today. Let's let's do it up. We got some Demon Power Sports sticker here, guys. Big shout out to the worst brand in the world. Demon Power Sports. They suck. Don't get their stuff. They're a bunch of criminals, scammers, and liars. So um, that's my shout out to Demon. You guys suck. I usually don't. You guys know I don't. Uh, I don't brand bash, but sometimes you got to bash when bashings do. I'll leave it at that. Uh, there's tons of horror stories out there with their products. Oh, these tires are looking a little worn on the kitty cat. But I don't think him and Jason need rubber. They just run around on slicks. I don't think the General Lee needs any introductions. I'm sure this thing's gonna make us all look bad today on Greens Mountain. Look at this thing, holy cow. Got the rat in the back, snorkels. This thing's wild. Bed delete by the looks of it. Exhaust right there next to the cooler. Thing's wild. Yeah, this is, uh, this is War Pig. Look they, at this uh, thing, eh? Basically, this is why I started filming because Jay's a wild man behind this thing. That's awesome. And he probably goes through thousands every weekend. Full send, eh? Oh, yeah. So this thing's usually on 8-inch portals and 42s, and what's it on now, a 4-inch portal? Yeah, yeah. And a 35? Yeah. We went out ripping one day, and uh, we had the 37-inch Havoc on, and we find this rock face, and I mean, it is, it's one of these. And he's got the pool. This thing looks like a spider. He throws the front tires up on it, and I start laughing. I'm like, nah. Backs up, jaw, smoke show and climbs on 37 Havocs up a freaking sheer rock face and I laugh. You get those guys that just are not afraid to say This guy is exactly that. I so know, this time of year you guys are born, his birthday was yesterday, yours is today. Oh man, now that's set in the bar. Oh man, damn it. Luckily I got the reinforcements. Tyler and yeah. Colin are up there. They're they're yeah. pretty much about ascendi as it comes too, so hopefully they'll join us. These guys are all full soon. It'll be a good time. Look at that, look at that beverage holder these got. You know what I gotta say, Fin Trail, you don't have this. It's definitely <laughs> decent. That is awesome. I dig it. Close by. <laughs> I don't have that. There's always room for improvements. There's always, always room for improvement, yeah. But they pretty well got her leg, man. That's good gear. Yeah, it is. I mean, oh, that it's stuff is too. It's, it's, really it's, it's the whole yeah. Can-Am Polaris debate. Durability, though, gear. honestly, I, and, and my end conclusion on it all was, for comfort, I prefer this. For long-term durability, this is going to last longer. I'm not The fin trail, yeah. And they've really, uh, they've upped yeah. it on their newer gear. It's a lot more... It's a lot softer and a lot more comfortable. I don't a little more it, forgiving, a little less tight. Yeah, because the it? older gear seemed a little more like thick and, and just not as, you can move as nice right. in it. Yeah. In a, and, and I found on a ATV, maybe it wasn't even that bad, but getting in and out of the side-by-side, side by side, side. it was annoying. Yeah. Yeah. This new stuff is a lot lighter and a lot better. So Kickers. yeah, we'll see how it holds together. My last set, I got four years out of it. Wow. It's still not, it's, I still have it. It doesn't leak or nothing. Yeah. yeah. Obviously not as hard on it as an ATV year. Yeah, that's kick ass, but, man. That's good. So we're gonna go see uh, Tyler and Colin here and their ladies. Super Greg's machine is here, but Super Greg's not here. Mini Mini Greg's here. Hello. An enclosure, a tusk enclosure on the. Uh, what do you call this thing, Tyler? I don't even call it. <laughs> you ready for greens? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Alrighty then, let's hit the trails. That's what we came here to do. Hanging out, spending time with the friends is always good, but the real fun starts when you hit the trail. That's when all the carnage begins and that's when the good times really start rolling. We got a bunch of different machines here, a bunch of new people, so you guys should have a lot of fun watching this ride. There's a lot of action heading your way. Someone's filming. 
even us. That never happens. Oh, why are they going this way? Okay. I'm fine with anyway. The original game plan here was to hang out at Ray's for an hour and a half or two until the rest of the ATV crew arrived and then head on over to Green's Mountain and conquer that. Uh, these guys ride quite a bit, so my assumption was we would fly through Silver and Gabrielle pretty quick without issue, film a couple of the action shots, and then head over to Green's, but the off-road gods sometimes have different plans in store for us. You know off-roading is never predictable, uh, so you'll see things didn't go as smoothly as we had planned. saying that we're just gonna film at Green's Mountain because I just assumed we were gonna fly through Silver and Gabrielle, head back, and then go hit up Green's like nothing. Oh my god, it feels awesome with the disconnect. I've been wanting to disconnect for ages. The rear sway bar to try it. It feels super good. It's gonna feel really tippy. As you can obviously see, I've got that full front glass windshield in, so there will be moments where there is a little bit of glare or some debris on the windshield. It's a trade-off for this time of year, so some of the images might not be as crisp and sharp as you're used to out the front, but I think, generally speaking, it's still quite good and watchable. to the handling characteristics and how the machine feels with the rear sway bar disconnected takes a little bit of time. It constantly feels like it wants to tip over and lay down, um, but you'll hear my, my impressions on it. I actually, I end up having a lot of fun. Uh, this little issue forced me to, to disconnect the sway bar in the rear, which is what I've been wanting to do for, for ages. Generally speaking, for this type of terrain, it should be beneficial. Where Tim usually goes. 
Like in the previous extended length trail ride video, we've got another giveaway coming your way guys, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can enter to win a cool prize. So the Razor definitely feels a lot different with the rear spray bar disconnected, let me tell you that. It's weird in off-camera situations because the rear end's flexing out so much, it's lifting the front end. I mean, for this type of terrain, it's probably way better. I don't have limit straps on the front or the rear, so hopefully I don't overextend my axles or anything. But besides that, it feels neat. Like, look at these rocks. Like, in this stuff, it should probably, like, it, it flexes awesome. the silver trail and this is a fun little obstacle on the trail uh, we always have fun on this one it always changes and evolves it's actually really easy right now uh, it, it always changes with the weather and how many people have hit it and, and what kind of machines have been going up it the battle wagon walked up it no problem if you've watched previous videos then you'll know sometimes this climb can be a lot more difficult
Mm. I love this little climb. We want to hit it again? We want to do it again? Ah, no, I'm blocked in.
never run a front sway bar ever. They're, they're, they're. <laughs> I don't drop the F bomb all the time because I hate beeping it out, but dude, they are in a pickle right here because getting the hell out of here is not easy. Um, I, I kind of thought to myself, I'm like, let's take them down this trail so we don't have to deal with this on greens. Yeah. I'll walk right up with one. Dude, I went up it like without that even is, touching yeah, the throttle. Yeah. But that thing's wide. It's too wide. And it's the leverage, man. It's like we talked about the portal. Yeah. It's too much stress too on much. sock ball joint, all that leverage. Yeah. It just too sheared. Much. The ball joint sheared right in half. Isn't it? That's it. Just the ball joint broke. That's it. That's it. That there's a lot riding on that ball joint to set up yeah, like that. Right. Well when you put big tires on it, portals, all this shit, you know. Yeah, add know, some power. Back, yeah. You know, like, yeah, I hear you, man. Looks like they got enough people up there figuring it out, though. Yo, can you get the chainsaw? I think we should cut about seven trees down over yeah, there. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> You guys will know what uh, we're poking out there. Just, just fun, guys. Nothing personal. Just having fun. joints and see if we can fix this bitch. Are you gonna grab it? Oh, I'm gonna go get the ball joints. You want to go to the ball case and take it out? Job's coming. Good. It's up to you man. Yeah we'll pick a Dan and then we'll probably back. We talk about it all the time. 
Super Mod retrofitted for trail, and you're seeing the weak links come out. Um, you get all, all sorts of leverage and power shifts here, driving terrain like this. So you'll, you'll, you'll see the, you'll see the weak links break right away, just like my my sway bar end link, which is my fault. I didn't have enough thread engagement. spare parts. Hey Tim, Yo. when you built the Wildcat, was your intention just to hurt people's feelings? No, I was, uh, when I bought the machine really, I was like a budget. I was, I was looking at a Look. budget. You're gonna lose that. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And uh, having fun. And uh, I spend well, more time actually riding than I do wrenching. You're hurting feelings now. <laughs> That's all. No, oh, I knew there was something off with you. A, you own Articat, B, you drink Fresca. Yep. Yeah. Good vodka. We're heading back. I disconnected my sway bar on cam. I sent him back with the ball joints in the meantime. And I picked up two guys that watch the channel. One guy calls himself the Happy Hippie. And uh, 900S and uh, what looks to be a Pro XP. So we're just shooting down silver here.
car thing is weird. Like, it feels like a slinky. It's like one of those RC cars. Just flexing it out like crazy. The amount of flex is wild. Maybe another six, seven weeks. Like that. It's almost. Yeah, we're on 12. Weeks. I don't know what it's gonna feel like on the road. It's gonna be a hazard. So the guys behind us, uh, they watch a lot of the videos. They said they heard I was coming out here. So they're like, let's drive out. It's only an hour for them, and they found me. You guys know I love riding with these people, especially viewers. Yeah. Well, luckily it's a bead like that. Come on. We'll probably be the uh, mobile soon. I'm probably gonna roll the razor over today because of this sway bar thing. It's gonna take some getting used to. As long as it's a slow layover, I'm cool with that. Hopefully the windshield doesn't break. Uh, fuck, it just doesn't want to fucking go in all the way. Well, I'm gonna come back out for something. That's good. Right, Kay? Right, Kay? Yeah. Got you now, Kay. <laughs> yeah. We're scared, don't worry. <laughs> don't mess
Sprinklers right in front there. Yeah. Right, exactly. So this way, it keeps the uh, silt when, when you're, you're going, going through all that mud and shit, All the silt goes between your fins, and then all of a sudden down the road, I'm heating up. Yeah. Well, I don't want that to happen, so I re relocated mine. That I lifted cool. my winch a little higher in the front. Nice. So you say you watch the videos, now you're oh, on yeah. one. <laughs> now we're on one, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, we summer. watch them yeah. all the time. This I way, this way garage. we learn. You this learn. This way we learn. Yeah, what all the things to not to do. Yeah. All the things not to do. And, and that's you, why we watch. No, you guys got a great show going on yeah. there. I can take. I can say that. Well, thanks, man. No yeah. problem, buddy, no problem. I'm glad you found us. I love the exo cage. I mean, I can relate. I had it, you we saw that. yours and I've ripped a fender off. I said no more. Isn't it a game changer? Like in the right. trees, I call my trail whiskers. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, she just had hers done. If this is the type of stuff you like to ride, then yeah, this no. thing will save your machine. No, absolutely. Yeah. It looks good. Thank you. The whole machine looks good. Yeah. And you said you got your own machine? Yes, She's got I her. Do. Uh, She's got the Mrs. Yeah, Hippie. Mrs. Hippie. Mrs. Mrs. Hippie. Wrapped too, but hers orange. is wrapped, but hers is cool. in orange colors. Well, we'll have to meet up again. Absolutely. Yeah. Down the trailer out front. Cool. Yeah. Well, um, we're gonna see how they're doing, and I think if they're still broken, we're just gonna let them deal with it and keep riding. Yeah. 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 Did any of that work? Okay, so he ended up finding one that worked. He actually fucked this one up. That's fine. New. And that's the old broken one. So he owes you for two. And here you go. You just stick them in. Do you there. have room to put them anywhere? In there. Sorry, uh, or if need be, I can throw them in my back until we get back to camp. Are we going back to camp again? We're and then gonna, we're gonna go to green. Yeah, yeah I would okay. like to top my peel up before yeah, we Yeah, and I'll do the same. And then, um, yeah. are they gonna figure it like that way? I don't know what their plan is, but we gotta move if we want you Yeah, to we got, like, Colin and Tyler are already on Green Mountain. Aww. They didn't wanna, I don't hate, I mean, I get it. Like, they no, wanted to go no, ride I there, right? Oh, You're back. Whoa. Yeah. Did that work? Oh, you're puking. You blew a... You blew your... Oh, crap! The sensor came out. You just drained your engine oil. Or is it the low oil light? Joe, here, Joe, Joe, here. Well, that's not a food we want to waste around here. That's even worse. That just We're all leaking. Wasting all the Everything's leaking, man. What is that? Is there a screw that holds that in? They're supposed to be. Okay. Supposed to be a hole. How much oil did he lose? Yeah. Uh, not a really. Let's just get her up the hill, get her flat. Yeah, but we got to make sure this stays in. Um, yeah, you don't want to drop well, that. I got bolts at the the thing. Let's just make our way back to the thing. Eat some okay. food. I'll pick some bike. Just taking a seat. Just having a seat, yeah. bud. Take a little breather. Um. Always something. Always something. Always something. You need a fresh battery change. Yeah, I do need a battery. You left me. No, I didn't. You didn't come get me. No, I, I, I ended up, I ended up saying that you didn't come get me. You didn't check up on me. I had to retrace our whole steps. I, uh, I, uh, I ended up unhooking my sway bar and getting it out of the way just so I don't have to mess with it later. All right, boys, I don't know how the fast track. We're just going to repeat all my steps to get back there. <laughs> you did well, Danny, for that long thing. Nimble. What is that that just popped out? I just want to get I don't even know. I haven't seen it. The engine oil was draining out. It was like a, oh, it's like a cam chain tensioner or something blew out, or I some sort of sensor. Wow, well, this is a new. Engine. That's engine oil. Um, brand new engine stuff in it, right? It? That's a new engine. Yeah. New well, then someone, someone messed something up then. on the install. Definitely, they forgot something. Or... One of the sensors is missing a bolt. It's a little ten mil with a flat. You know, like a, a mushroom. I have a whole bag. Okay. I got a lot of hardware this back. This is a brand I, new yeah. engine they just I, put I in heard, here. so like that's, the sensor is probably out of the old engine. Yeah. So they didn't slap it in right, or they didn't that lock tight it. That's exactly, yeah. it's part, because they just part ordered me a long block. Yeah, they don't They do not do all the sensors. All my yeah. stuff. Hey Jay, uh, Dad's portal's buying, I think, now. Oh, it's one of those really? rides. So we got a portal issue again. And uh, we got a, some sort of front A-arm issue. I don't know if it's a ball joint or bushings or something. The back 
wheel is about to fall off again. Now the front's broken almost. Do that face again. So, why'd you buy a Polaris, they say. That's my answer. Because it's not winter time. Because it's not winter time. Right, because in the winter time if we buy Polaris, you know what Polaris stands for? What? Pull off lake and repair in summer. Ah, so can <laughs> for the winter, Polaris for the summer. No, Arctic Cat for the winter. Ooh, ooh. If you ain't riding <laughs> we don't that, always have you're to riding keep, a don't, dog. Don't, let's agree to disagree. <laughs> no, actually, I do have some ski do and I ride Arctic Cat. They all break. Yeah, we're going. I get it. Watch out. All right, we're finally moving. Thanks. So uh, I guess we proved our previous conversation of it's not all about the, the size of your bank account or your credit rating. Nope. Because uh, look who's here. The little wildcat that could. Wow, that's cool. Look, look at his setup, eh? Isn't that sweet? Ah, so cool. Not for hire. Miss Hippie.
straighten your wheels. Okay, and then give it and then turn that way a little. You gotta bounce it up. It'll pull them right in there. You got it. It's, it's, it's good he's, it's good he stayed on it. Come this way a bit. Yep, straight. Turn this way a touch when you're coming up. Yeah. Whoa, wrong way. <laughs> there 
it was worth the road ride. We only made it this far. Thank God there's no Can Ams with us. Yeah. Yeah. Her oh, oh yeah. yeah, my fing ticker was going. <laughs> Hell yeah. How do you feel? How do you feel? Good. Adrenaline's going. It's a beautiful thing. That's why you I'm feeling 35. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you guys all look like you're a little twisted. That's how we get along. We race. We race. We're the fastest couple. We're the fastest couple in the world that own a Bugatti Chiron. Yeah? Cool. 257 miles an hour. We don't scare you. Oh, is this boring for you then? We can step it up. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. How do you feel? Wicked. Oh. Look at that flex. How do you feel riding here? Yeah, it's fun. Fun? Right on. I love it. Good. Timmy, what are you up to? What's Timmy doing?
Oh, look, I lost the center cap already. Nice. First ride on Dude, the rim. Yeah, well, as we soon were... as we hit the trail, we went on that loop on silver. We crawled up it. The guy on the portals that had a broken portal this morning broke a portal, messed up his front A arm. And That's then, why we went around. Yeah. Like, we, oh, were, we, weren't, we weren't two minutes in the trail. Everybody was already stopped. Yeah. We're, like, we're going. We're you were the smart ones. Yeah. And then, um, and then when we, we, we get it fixed, and he just put had a new engine put in from warranty. The um, knock sensor falls out. They didn't put the bolt in, just drains the engine oil. Really? I'm just like, you know what? Today's a day where I'm glad I got a Polaris. One shot, one kill. This is vertical, in case you don't know. It's, uh, it's not about how much you spend, it's about how big your nuts are. Yeah. <laughs> you did the cheat hitting the left there, eh? Yeah. That's the only way to get up I had it. to grab it on the edge of the you tire. You can feel it clawing its way up. It's so slippery with little leaves on there. That, and I had no escape. Why is there the ratchet straps back there? Are they holding your engine on? I broke my motor mount. So you're, just now? Uh, I noticed when I got up here, so I compromised. This is how you fix a motor mount on a... Artica. It still works going down, but going up. Your uh, your machine looks like it's having a seizure every time you hit the gas. The That's exactly shakes. how I ride. Yeah. <laughs> so, the light wheels, test ride number one. One center cap gone. Two center caps gone. Oh, that's why other companies bolt on their center caps. I knew these were like one touch away from falling off. They don't look so good now without center caps. That looks good. So yeah, wheels look good, but now they're missing two center caps.
have theme trail instead anywhere I want to film awesome shots. Look at that. Awesome. set the bar we've gone up it this way right through here works too I'm gonna go right through here is easy that's a little off camber there but that's about it that once, I get where? once you get up over this it's smooth sailing this is you the hardest go part way. going this way once you go there it's downhill it's easy so guys I, I'm testing fin trail how I wanted to test it in my natural habitat <laughs> while filming some shots and it works really well I love it I love that I can stand in the paddle and film from the paddle that's amazing love it thanks fin trail i don't think there's a wrong choice there's enough here to topple them back over if we need to i don't want to topple them over well i'll go roll first then
brood line was already set up for you. I just had to get into it. You pulled into backwards, set like you perfect. I saw you smack front end here, so I yeah. went at it slow. It's deep. Oh, yeah. I got a lot more ground clearance than him. <laughs> the broken shift cable and I have to... I Throttle is your friend. I have to go. Pick a line and... I think that's your theory without a broken shift cable. <laughs> Actually, that he's a good rider. No. I didn't realize how gnarly coming up the other way was until we did it. <laughs> coming down it, you feel like nothing, but it's, gravity's a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, coming gravity. Down is always the I fell. You always make it to the bottom, one way or another. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this side, this side. Get into it. Be careful, Ksenia. I know. That's originally the line I thought about. That's what those rock sliders are there for. Yeah. He left himself a little I memory. Think he needed the throttle, but it was cool. <laughs> he, he built himself a memory there. Clenching the buck cheeks. <laughs> I always bl blame Siri if something breaks. Jump us. <laughs> Easy, eh? Piece of cake. You look cool. You gave yourself a little love tap here. You got oh, a you got a memory now. A little dent. Buddy, that's not a problem. That's, that's why, why it's they're that's why it's there. there. Absolutely. Yeah. If I could only get it higher. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been tempted to put the portals on it so I can get a few inches, not with the bigger tires, just so I could get more clearance. Even if I went with like a 30 You start, it's like, it's like treading that line of what do you want out of it, right? Timmy! You're going through the mud? You're going that way? You don't want to go up? I don't even know where that goes. You don't want to go up that way? That's where I was cracking my dip. That's where um, oh, you guys rolled up? with Super Gray. How do we get up there? Right there. Oh, I'll turn around. Yeah, around. you can spin around. Yeah. I can go first. We'll go this way, it's more fun. We'll go this way, it's more fun. 
there's a cool like another there's a little yeah. climb here and then a drop definitely on its way out. probably noticed that the razor has been dying after like a high wheel speed situation when I let off the throttle it stalls. Uh, that's a mix of clutch bind and tranny issues as well as an O2 sensor issue. I replaced the downstream O2 and that didn't fix my check engine. I replaced the upstream that didn't fix my check engine. Turns out I had a frayed wire in my wiring harness. I'll go into a little bit more detail on this later.
cable's broken. Back to the tranny. It's been popping out of gear for a little while. Things have been off with it. It just doesn't feel right. It's been getting harder and harder to shift, especially when it's hot. On top of that, I've rebuilt my clutches a few times, but there is wear on the actual clutches themselves, the aluminum non-serviceable components. Um, recently in the past video, you guys saw my shifter cable snap, so there's obviously something going on there. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it was filmed in mid-November, it is now February, it takes me a while to work through these, but since then I was back and forth with the new Polaris dealership I've been working with, and with Polaris, and they agreed to warranty the transmission because there was damage inside the tranny that was deemed a warranty item. While the tranny was being replaced, I also purchased two brand new clutches from Polaris, a primary and a secondary, and I slapped all new aftermarket assassins components on those. So everything now on my Razor is pretty much minty. It's pretty fresh now. The dealership also covered the wiring issue under warranty and now the thing is running like a beast again. I'll give you a more detailed update on all of this in an upcoming video. degrees. I know. I got lucky last time. It's slicker and stuff. You made it up? Yeah. Yeah, I had to climb over and I shot up. You made it up? <laughs> the little kitty that could. 
I'm gonna go this way. anymore. It's like a one-shot deal because it pulls you sideways. You're rolling over and yeah. rolling over in soft mud and dirt. Yeah. I could take that. Yeah. Rolling over and I'm like <laughs> a ledge like this. Yeah. She gonna leave some marks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't expect that to be hard. For the drag race? Yeah. <laughs> 
Definitely worth the 25 minute road cruise. Yeah, oh yeah. This place is like a playground. Sick. Oh. Every time you come here, it's a different thing. Oh, no. This ledge is nasty because of the step here. Oh, yeah. And it's right at that wheelbase, kind of. And there's a big muddy puddle here that doesn't help, right? I, I thought you were almost going over there for a second. Oh, I was close. I, I think I was close over there. You were in the peanut uh, butter. You can just feel it, right? Yeah, it's like that. Is it going to go? <laughs> okay, you're tight. through the water. Timmy sees a line. Speechless. Yeah, I suck. I suck. I'm a I'm a pansy. I I need to learn to send it. I got a trailer queen. My machine's just upgraded parts, but I never use them. I don't even know how to drive. I don't even know what I'm doing. The real champion is right up there. Oldest, cheapest, most beat machine. Shows us how it's done again. I have no excuses. None. He's better than me. I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. Woo! Woo <laughs> Damn, you gotta hug her right to the right.
<laughs> you made the biggest wave though. <laughs> I always do. Yeah. <laughs>
Trellin Off-Road Outfitters whips on there. We've got the mic tuning rock lights. Again. Yeah. We're gonna sneak up on you. Watch out. Yeah, yeah, you're kinda hard to miss. You never know where we're coming from. <laughs> That's okay. I could think of worse people to run into on the trail. So uh, we'll head back to camp now. Alright, sounds cool. You guys I hope you guys enjoyed the ride portion of the video. As always, we had a blast. It's awesome meeting new people, making new friends. I'm sure we'll be crossing paths with the happy hippie again really soon on the trail. We're heading back to camp now since it's dark. We're going to help them get loaded up, and then we're going to crash out for the night and pick up with you in the morning. Stay tuned to the end of the video because we've got another awesome giveaway coming your way. Look at that pretty clean machine up there. Hey, ain't it? Yeah. I know, she regrets taking it, not taking it. Hey! There's always next time. That's right, absolutely. How do you wash your razor? Do you use any special washing products? Do you have any tips or tricks? So at the end of this video, we're gonna take a few minutes and we're gonna go over washing the Fintrail gear and getting it ready for next ride, as well as going over uh, the razor wash and the products we can use. So if you guys are interested in that, then the giveaway has to do with that. So stay tuned uh, because there'll be a couple cool prizes for you guys to win. The last giveaway we did with Warren and Rocky Mount ATVMC was a huge hit, so I'm stoked we can bring you more giveaways in upcoming videos. Well, we are packing up camp. It snowed a little last night. The battle wagon did quite well, as usual. Everything's looking good. What's our center cap count? We are down two center caps on the brand new Bullite wheels. Right away I was concerned about these wheels for one fact. The center caps fit in really loose. They just clipped in. They don't bolt in. They're plastic. Right away I knew I'd probably come back missing at least one or two center caps. And here we have it. I'm missing two center caps. And it's usually the rears because the rear end bounces around and you don't really have a good view on it like you do on the front. So um, yeah, they're gone. Um, damage report. Aside from that, I don't think anything really. I think everything else kind of held together good. I took a few bigger hits on like the rock sliders and on the skid plate, but that's nothing. Yeah, everything's good. We almost rolled a couple times. I mean, we had that we had that sway bar issue that was caused by my. It was a mix of my ignorance, not checking how many threads I had engaged, and the fact that I needed to let. I needed to set the sway bar kind of the way it was because I couldn't get the sway bar to not touch the trailing arms. I wanted it clear so it had full movement uh, and that wouldn't work. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get it to work better. Or maybe I can just see if, I, hopefully I didn't damage the threads, I can get it back in there into the end link. And, um, and then I can try and see if maybe, even if it's touching the trailing arm, I can use it. I'll figure that out. It's like a minor detail. I definitely tweaked the, um, my 
flaps, the mud flaps, I bent them and I kicked them back into place a few times. I think they're just gonna get bent and tweaked and I'll bend them back and it's just the nature of the beast riding on terrain like this. But they're still there, they're still there. We didn't lose one or anything. Windshield, oh man, windshield's a game changer. It was so nice. We had to do a 25 minute road ride to and from Green Mountain and having that windshield is amazing. Same with the rear feels like a million bucks in there you don't have to have goggles on it's not blowing in your face you can talk it's great you just hear the hum of the tires the snorkel the big um, the dig rig snorkel kit well not a snorkel kit but the dig rig snorkel elbow the snorkel elbow seems to work well the snorkel seems to work well my belt temps even down the road and stuff like that were good um, so I'm happy with that I'm super stoked with the snorkel I'm super glad to finally have that uh, everything else really good the wildcat oh Timmy and the Arctic cat wildcat the other group we met up with those guys from like ATV that they were riding with man they are just breakdown after breakdown that's why we ended up just running off on our own to go to greens with uh, the hippies and um, that was a wise choice because we got a really good ride in, as you probably saw. The Arctic Cat Wildcat 700, Timmy's machine. This thing is great. So yeah, overall, really good time. Had a blast. Ray's place is always awesome. I've said it a million times. Check them out if you're in this local area or anywhere within a four or five hour drive even. It's worth the drive to come out for a few days and experience the trails around here. So we're gonna get the Razor loaded up on the trailer and we're gonna hit the road, get some breakfast and head home till we do it again. We're coming back to Ray's place next weekend with Corny and the KRX and uh, Fish and the Commander with his new diff and some other new upgrades. And he'll have a real four wheel drive by then, hopefully. Uh, he's got the Super ATV Swift Track diff going in and uh, he's probably working on it as we speak right now because he's got this weekend off to get that all done. Uh, who else is coming? Uh, I think Jason's supposed to come. Uh, I can't remember who else is going. Anyways, you'll see in the video. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be wicked. We're probably going to do Greens Mountain again. Because <laughs> it's just so fun. Well, we have stopped for some lunch. We're on our way home. About just under two hours away from getting home. The Razor is getting a little bit of a snow slash rain rinse. Uh, it's kind of like trying to snow I think it kind of snowed a little bit overnight now it's kind of trying to rain but um yeah anyways heading home got some lunch hopefully everything else goes according to plan and we'll get back safe all right so we made it back and uh the razor is looking a little dirty dirtier than we left for sure and it's snowing it's kind of like rain slash slush coming from the sky but luckily you know what the weather held out until this morning when we were leaving. So you know what, I'll take that. Yesterday was a great day. It didn't start raining until we were on our way back. So we got a good day of riding in. The Razor got a little bit of a pre-wash. Look at that. We got that glass windshield with the Super ATV wiper. Whoop, whoop, it works. Need a wiper for the inside too. <laughs> so um, as you guys know, Riding is one thing, that's a lot of fun, but the worst part of every ride is the drive home and the cleaning. Yeah, coming home. Having to unload the, tr the truck, you gotta unload the whole truck, you gotta unload the trailer, you gotta clean the machine, which takes a few hours. It's not that bad, because where we rode, it's really sandy, this stuff washes off nicely. And you gotta clean your gear, you gotta clean your helmets, and if you ride in stuff like fin trail, you gotta clean your fin trail. Luckily, it's not too, too dirty because we weren't mudding too heavy, but it's good to clean it and not let it sit and bake in. As you can see, the snow is kind of building up. So yeah, it's good to give it a nice rinse off. I'm not really gonna scrub it. I'm just gonna hit it with soft bristle brush, nothing too hard, and some warm water, and it should get most of this off, and then we'll dry it out for the next ride, which is next weekend, also up at Ray's place. So. Let's just spray it down with some nice warm water. Melt that snow. Oh. 
I find that um, on the fin trail gear, you'll get a lot. So a lot of people ask me, how's that fin trail work with the boots? Well, the fin trail gear has a neoprene sock attached into it here. And uh, that sock is the waterproof part. The boot itself, boots over here, I've already washed them. The boots themselves aren't like made to keep water in or out. They actually have like drain holes in them. So the wading boot itself isn't the part that keeps your foot dry. The part that keeps your foot dry are the neoprene socks, all seam sealed. They also insulate your foot and keep it nice and warm. So warm. Even when they're wet. Uh, sometimes in the winter you'll actually see us riding and if we got fin trail on and you look at our boots they're steaming because your feet actually stay pretty warm sometimes you'll take your uh, fin trail off and you'll be like whoa is my foot damp and then you remember it's like no nah, i've been in fin trail for eight or nine hours it's kind of just a little bit of sweat because i mean this gear can be what they call breathable but waterproof gear can only be so breathable right it, it can't be too breathable because oh no they're coming for us They'll never find us. Um, it can only be so breathable if it's waterproof. Because if it's not letting water in, then it can't let air in and out. So I find mud usually builds up under here where the because this goes over the boot. So I always roll it up, clean it out, and then I roll it down. I wash it again. And then when I let them dry, um, I'll usually just let them dry like this. And then in a couple hours, I'll come and I'll, I'll I'll fold that over so that they can dry inside. This is cool. Uh, this nice snowy ambiance. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna rinse these off. When you're putting these waders on and off, it's important not to like tug at the neoprene boot too much um, because you don't want to damage it or tear it or stretch the seams. Um, I've had my other fin trail gear, my original gear for about four years and it's still watertight. It does not leak. Uh, you don't want to use any harsh cleaners on this. Um, usually, if you got a spot that's a little muddy, if you just hit it with a soft bristle brush, like here, we got some mud. Just hit it with a soft bristle brush, loosen up that mud. I mean, yeah, you know what? Some mud stains, and if it tarnishes the, if it stains the uh, fin trail a little bit, I personally don't care. I don't spend too, too much time washing it because I'm honestly just gonna go out and get it dirty again, right? So for the heavier areas, I just hit it with the bristle brush. And that's honestly all I need to do after a ride like this and hose it off. You can see the mud in the socks there. People have been asking me to do some content on washing the razor and like the products I use. I'm just focusing more on the ride videos lately than the tech stuff and like the wash stuff and, and all that because obviously everyone prefers the entertainment from the ride videos. So I try to focus on that. So you're seeing real time that washing this gear is not too much work. Now, if you were super, super muddy, then uh, I've worn this gear before when I wash or after a ride, I come home and I wash right away. And you can, you can get away with pressure washing this gear. From a distance, if someone's with you, they can pressure wash the thicker mud off. But I mean, from like six or seven feet away, you're not gonna wanna hit this gear with too much pressure. You will damage it. But you know, using your common sense, you can pressure wash some of it off. Uh, once in a while, I give them a little bit of a more deep clean, but we're just going to use these next week. And um, it's snowing out right now. <laughs> so I'm not going to spend too much time washing these. It'll probably take a good day or two for them to dry in the garage. So those are clean to me. Let's clean the butt backside of these the same way. But anyways, you see it. That's how easy it is to clean this gear. <laughs> now, if you fill your waders with water or mud, you can turn them inside out and wash them in like two stages and let them dry. Uh, I'm, we don't do crazy mudding, so that's usually not an issue for me. Clean enough for me. So guys, I know y'all hate this part of the job. This is the worst part of riding is the, um, is the cleanup after the maintenance, all that stuff. It's not as fun as the riding itself. 
but it's an essential part of keeping your machine reliable and keeping your gear looking good and lasting long. If you want some cool riding gear, check out Fintrail, fintrail.com. They've got a really good sizing guide online. People are like, oh, how do I know which size I want? Go on their website, check out their sizing guide. It tells you exactly how to measure the gear and it'll fit you perfectly. I've ordered a ton of gear for myself, my girlfriend, my friends in the riding crew, and none of us have had sizing issues and there's probably about 15, if not more sets of gear so far and they all fit great. So big shout out to Fintrail for keeping us warm and dry on the trail on our last ride. And uh, can't wait for the next one next weekend. It's probably gonna snow. Guys, rock crawling in the snow. Whew, it's gonna get spicy. Also guys, one more thing to mention. I started a new series that's called Off-Road YouTube 101. I know the series isn't gonna appeal to everyone, but I know there's a lot of other creators that watch the content and chime in on the videos, and I know some of them. So I figured it'd be cool that since I've been working on this YouTube channel for years, I can give some of my feedback, some of my thoughts on what it's like to be a creator on YouTube. So if that content appeals to you, then leave a comment, check out the videos, enjoy them. Hopefully I can pass on some knowledge. You can leave, learn a thing or two and maybe in the comments I can learn a thing or two. If it doesn't appeal to you, go ahead guys. If some of the content won't appeal to you, just skip it. I notice that sometimes when I post content that's not just a long trail ride, I lose subscribers. I can see in the videos how many people subscribe and unsubscribe on a video. So sometimes I'll post something that's not riding related and I'll get comments like, this is a side-by-side -side uh, and YouTube channel, not uh, do I do it yourself channel. It's my channel. It's a whatever I want it to be channel. Um, I'm the creator here. I make content you guys enjoy. And naturally, like when you're watching TV, you'll enjoy a channel like the Discovery Channel. That doesn't mean you like every show on the, on the channel. You'll watch some movies that are pretty good You'll watch some movies that are amazing and you'll watch some movies like, yeah, you know what, I'm not watching that again. But you're not just gonna automatically un like stop watching a channel because you saw something you didn't like. You have to kind of apply that here as well. Not every video is going to appeal to everybody. Some people love the long format videos. Some people like the shorter videos. Some people enjoy the shop videos and, and the insight and, and the learning opportunities. Other people don't care for them. Don't care for it, skip it. You enjoy it, please watch it. That's all I have to say. It's not easy making these videos and it's not easy keeping everyone, including myself, happy. So I like to create content that makes me happy, but I also like to create content that you guys enjoy watching. So just keep in mind that there's a lot that goes in behind the scenes to make all that happen. And if you enjoy the, the, if you enjoy the majority of the content, then that's what I'm after. You don't always have to like every video as much. And sometimes certain videos turn out awesome. And then there's other videos that just, the energy is not there. And some videos I think, I'm not even gonna upload this and they suck, do the best. Other videos I think are gonna just rock it and go like amazing, stagnate. So there are some struggles on my end as well. That's all I wanted to say. Right on your face. Huh? It was right on your face. Oh, cool. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm tired. It's been a, a great weekend and uh, we had a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed the ride. If you got this far, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I really appreciate everyone that watches the content. Um, aside from that, I'll also be making a new video uh, series called Tech Talk Tuesdays or something like that, or Tech Talks, I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but I wanna go over some questions I get asked that are more technical related in more detail then I can go over in a ride video. So we're gonna talk about the sponsors and parts and reviews on parts and tires. I'm gonna do a video on tire reviews. I had to ask about tire options and, and tire recommendations constantly. One of the top five questions I get asked is tire related. We're gonna talk about machines. We're also gonna do some interviews with a few of the guys that ride in the videos more often and they can do a walk around of their, of their machine because I know a lot of people have been interested in seeing Fish's machine, the breakdown, Corny's KRX, the breakdown, Super Greg's machine, stuff like that. So we're gonna take an opportunity to do that and talk about their machines a little bit more, as well as go over some common products uh, or, or some common product questions related to some of the stuff you've seen on my machine and other machines in the video. Anyways, that's my spiel. Stay tuned, tons of content coming your way, guys. <laughs> All this for one day of riding. This is the worst part. Okay, you ready for the laundry? All right, where we left off. Worst part, washing the machine. Luckily, I got some new cleaning products to try here. 
Uh, I was talking to my buddy Zach from Dirt Dudes UTV and he recommended I try these products from WR Performance Products. And um, ironically, he had mentioned me to the guys there because he's been working with them and turns out they're local. They li the, their headquarters is 40 minutes from my house. So actually, uh, one of the guys swung by and dropped off a bunch of cleaning products and told me to try them. So they swung by, told me a bit about their cleaning products and told me that they think I'll be satisfied with their foam cannon wash because it works a little bit better than some of the competition. So I told them I'm skeptical because I've tried so many different washes and at the end of the day, nothing changes much time when it comes to washing. Uh, there's no real substitute for two hours of pressure washing. But these guys said that this stuff will work and they dropped off a few kits to let me try it. This is their foam cannon kit. It comes with a foam cannon and two bottles of total wash. Basically foam it on and let it sit and then rinse it off. So we'll see. Supposedly it brings blacks back to black and um, makes all the panels look better and really cuts through the grime. They say that their formula is a little bit different. It's not like a soap, it's a lot more watery. Uh, it's a high pH I'm, uh, I'm, from what I'm understanding and uh, it should cut through all this mud. So instead of talking about it, let's put the product to the test and see uh, what it does. Here's a before. The razor is not super dirty. And it's kind of like a sandy dirt from riding up at Ray's place. And it's starting to snow. Got their foam cannon, and they say to apply it at maximum setting, so lowest dilution. And just put the foam cannon straight into here. Let her rip. Let's see how she works. So the mud actually is flowing right off better than any other products that I've used, and I've used quite a few. You can see it like oozing off, dripping onto the ground. We'll let it sit for a few minutes and rinse it off.
Well, gotta say, first impressions are quite positive. This stuff really does melt through the dirt well, better than the other products I've used. Some of the other products I've used um, literally feel like you're just using dish soap. This stuff really, really breaks down the dirt a lot better. Um, and it really brings out like the tires and stuff like that. I find, sometimes I find it's difficult to get all the kind of staining and hazing out of the tire, but this stuff cut through that really well. You really did a nice job taking all the dirt off. The true test will be how all the hoses around the engine and stuff like that look. We'll see if it can kind of break its way through all that caked on, burned on, heat cycled on dirt and debris. Um, but we'll have to wait until the machine dries to really see that. Like I mentioned, WR Performance Products, Total Wash guys. They also make um, a formula for like keeping the mud off. I'm gonna try that next time. But for now, I'd say um, works well, first impressions. And uh, regardless, uh, cleaning the razor, cleaning the machine, the side-by-side -side in general is just, it's always, it sucks. I mean, especially this time of year when it starts to get colder and you're battling the cold weather. Um, if you ride in cold climates, you'll know sometimes you're trying to wash your machine and as you're washing it, it's freezing up. But um, it came out nice and clean. If you want more info on the cleaning products I use in this video, then check out WR Performance online. I'll leave a link at the bottom of the video here. Also, shout out to my buddy Zach and Nick from Dirt Dudes UTV. If you haven't checked out their channel yet, then head on over there and check them out. Subscribe to them while you're there. Great group of guys. I'll be going out there to Michigan to ride with them in the next little while. Now that borders are back open, uh, they make some great content. They're very passionate about what they do and um, they love to push the limits and ride. They ride a little different than us, more mid to high speed, wide open type stuff. They do some duning. Uh, check out their uh, UTV takeover videos. They're pretty cool. Uh, hopefully next season I can get my machine out in the dunes or one of my machines, depending on what I have next season and um, experience that as well because it's something I've wanted to do and uh, the Dirt Dudes will show me how it's done. We'll also be heading out their way to ride their local off-road park and hopefully heading down to West Virginia and Tennessee in the months to come, also with them. Another big shout out to Blown Budget Off-Road. Those boys know how to send it. I really can't wait to hit the trails with them. Maybe uh, the Dirt Dudes and Blown Budget can team up with Team AJP and do a group ride somewhere at one of those crazy locations the Blown Budget Boys ride. Those guys know how to push the limit. Before I go out with them, I think I'm gonna need an aftermarket cage because I'll probably be on my side or on my roof a few times trying to keep up with those guys. They really push the bar um, and they ride the type of train we like to ride. So I'd, I'd really love to go out there. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite side-by-side -side ATV YouTube channels are and um, and let me know what other content you like to watch aside from my channel here. I've said this before, YouTube is a team sport. I would love to get out and collab with more like-minded channels. That's why I'm shouting these guys out. They're slightly smaller than me. Uh, so if you guys do enjoy my content, I really think you would also enjoy the content from Dirt Dudes UTV and Blown Budget Off-Road. Everything's more fun with good friends and a good riding group. So. Let's spread the love and support the other channels so that we can all grow together and get out on the trails even more. So the battle wagon's looking nice and fresh and ready for some more abuse. So um, once again, I'm really done this time, guys. See you in the next video, guys, and ride safe out there. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Giveaway time. Today's giveaway is sponsored by WR Performance Products, and we're giving away three total wash kits with foam cannon, two balls of wash, and a badass foam cannon for your pressure washer. Like I said, this stuff does work really well. It's not magic, but it does help cut some time off the wash. 
In order to enter, you need to leave a comment using the hashtag WRPerformanceProducts on YouTube here in the comment section. That is how I will be able to randomly generate a winner. You need to be at least 18 years of age and a legal resident of Canada or the United States. And you also need to follow WR Performance Products on Instagram because they are trying to grow their Instagram page, so that's how we're gonna help them out. In addition to this YouTube giveaway, there will also be a separate giveaway prize on our Instagram page at Adrenaline Junkie Prod, so if you don't already follow us there, please do. You can go ahead and enter both of the contests if you want. However, you can only win either the YouTube or the Instagram contest just to keep things fair. If for some reason you get contacted by somebody on the comment section saying you need to contact them on WhatsApp, it is a scam. There are people duplicating my account and my thumbnail and all that stuff and you guys know what the internet is like these days. There's a ton of scammers out there. I will contact you through the comments and ask you to email me if you win. Anything else is a scam. I'm super stoked to be able to bring you these cool giveaways and big shout out to all the companies that are helping us make it happen. Stay tuned to the next few videos because we've got some seriously awesome giveaways heading your way. We're going to be giving away a full set of Tusk Megabyte tires on Tusk beadlock rims. And we'll also be giving away a full Fintrail suit. A full setup, boots, waders, jacket, the whole package. So make sure you don't miss that. And please share the videos and the giveaways with your friends. Let's spread the love and let's help grow the channel so we can bring you more awesome content in the future. Take care guys and good luck.